Greetings everyone, 3D Hero here, and welcome to today's latest mix up build, to where today I'd like to present my Deep Vero 104 mix set, or what I'd call it the Power Cleric build. It's designed and main focus to increase your team's damage and defense through use of Demon Powder, Armor Powder, Demon Drink, Armor Drink, etc. And then further buff them using your Hunting Horde songs, which will further amp up everyone's defense and damage, and create a powerhouse team that will be able to take on the biggest and baddest monsters thrown at us, while also allowing you, the main power provider, to participate in the hunts more and actually do incredibly high damage to monsters you face. Now when it came down to creating this build, I wanted to focus on a mix set that wasn't always going to be focusing on corner buffing, healing and applying statuses to monsters as a supportive build. As there are many mix sets out there, but some of them in terms of practicality for actually applying good damage against monsters while supporting were either few or really rare to find. Also, since quite a few people think that the hunting horns mainly designed for supporting a team, and not truly based on how powerful the weapon could truly be, made me want to create a set that can offer a balance in between team support and your self support. And here's my answer to all of this. My power clip build, which provides more power and defense for teammates in fights, while also buffing myself and further increasing the amount of damage I can do, while improving my defense so I could be more in the thick of things. So let's take a look at the build. The weapon you'll be using is the Deep Vero Hunting Horn, which is a Devil Drill weapon that has high damage, high Elder Seal, good sharpness and around 240 Dragon Element, which makes it a perfect weapon to use against monsters weak to Dragon or Elder Dragons entirely. Now like all Devil Drill weapons, they all vary with the amount of minus affinity they come with, and Deep Vero comes with minus 30 affinity, which is pretty bad to start off with and can really change how much damage you can do against a monster. But I managed to negate the minus affinity with my build without using a affinity augmentation or affinity booster. But this will vary with everyone. Augmentation wise, I have none added onto my weapon as I haven't received a hammer streamstone to augment it sadly. However, if you have the stones available then I would suggest you go with a affinity orb to reduce the minus affinity down to minus 20. And then you can either go with a health augmentation to receive health back or a defense augmentation to increase your defense even more but at the same time gave me a chance to negate damage taken from hits, which is kind of 50-50 at a time. It doesn't always activate, but it's nice to have. Now, earlier on, I explained that I want this set to focus on a damage and defense buffing for myself and for my teammates. And considering the weapon I'm using offers me the songs, damage and defense, but has high minus affinity, meant I need to create a set that can balance all this out without it leaning to one side and making the build feel pretty lackluster in the end. So with that in mind, I went with the following skills and armor to compensate the ideas better. For more personal damage and more affinity to balance out my current weapons in fights, I went with a Weakness Exploit 3, Critical Eye 3, Agitator 3, Maximum Might 2, and a Attack 1 skill, which was added on present skill from my armors. Now just to say, if you don't have extra Maximum Might Jewel or a Affinity Augmentation, then your weapon's affinity will be based to minus 10. Now don't fret as this can all be negated through the use of Weakness Exploit or a Affinity Booster, but overall damage number wise you will still be hitting hard either way. Next for the support role when I'm using consumables and playing songs I went with a wide range 2 skill as I didn't need anything higher since I'm going to be near my teammates always, and a whole Maestro 1 skill so my songs and encores can last longer and not need me to go rebuff every few minutes. And then lastly to get an extra 1.32 multiplier for our sharpness one with a handicraft free skill since our weapon already has a bit of wipe sharpness to it. So we might as well go all the way, really. Overall, this build should lower down our hunting horn minus 30% infinity down to 0%, our base weapon damage to 1000, our defense to 411, and our sharpness to a solid amount to keep our damage topped overall. So right, when it comes down to playing this build, the first thing you want to do is activate the motions that allow you to get an attack and defense buff. But don't play the song straight away unless your team is all in one spot or if it's just you playing solo. Once you have everything with you and also have the necessary consumables like the attack, healing and defense up consumables, then you head out to where your teammates are or where the monster is located. Now if your team is already engaged with the monster, you can then go ahead and play the song so everyone gets the necessary buffs. I recommend you let all your stock melodies play out and then press R2 before the melody is about to end to do an encore move which will play your songs again but this time make them more stronger and extend the duration of the songs. Afterwards I drank a demon drink and an armor drink to further buff myself and my teammates and then go to town on the monster. Aim for the monster's weak point as this will do the most amount of damage on the monster and use the standard combo or triangle and then circle or triangle plus circle at the same time for an overhead smash where all of this can vary from 50 
to 80 to 100 plus damage in terms of combos used. So make good use of this combo. Also, if you ever do use a Encore and the monster you're facing is down, such as knocked out or KO'd or just generally on the ground and can't get up, make good use of it by applying it to the monster as you increase your chance to KO or exhaust the monster, allowing you more ample time to do more damage at the same time. When the monster gets enraged, remember you'll receive a damage and affinity buff to your character, so you can actually end up doing way more damage than usual, with at times me doing around 120 plus damage in terms of combos used. Or, for example, for me, when I used the triangle plus circle and ruffles his head, I ended up getting around 120 to 160 in terms of damage. And that was just one attack, including all the base buffs you can apply, including your palico who can buff you, and the canteen attack or defense buffs you can get at times. It can lead to your base damage going from around 1000 to 1200 plus, and your defense from 411 to 450 plus, which generally makes this a pretty successful build in terms of gameplay usage for solo or team. And I can show you all that in another clip at uh, another time. So guys, why not give this setup a run in solo or team play? If you like supporting your team or supporting yourself and being the main powerhouse provider to destroy every monster within a few minutes of your runs for fun. Because honestly, this right here, I never thought it would work, but honestly, it is absolutely amazing. And if you go ahead and try this, believe me when I say this, your whole team will thank you for your support. And that comes to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then a like and sub would be appreciated. Do you comment if there's anything you're confused with or would change, and I'll try my best to help you out. But once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.